Hey, Gemini gang. Uh, what's up, y'all? So, let's do um, love check for the day. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also check your Jupiter, North Node with signs in your seventh house. Take what resonates with you or take it how it resonates with you in your situation. Leave the rest. All right. Personal readings in the description box. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Buh. Greatly appreciate it, y'all. Okay. Let's see, you guys. Let's see. See what's going on. Also, guys, always check the website. Some some people have emailed me um, about the class. If if you check the website and you see the classes, you can still book. Then you can still book. All right. Um, but if you check it and it says it's sold out or something like that, then that means I've closed it. Okay. I'm going to close the class registration on the fourth, August the fourth because the class starts on the 6th, all right? So, ooh, Geminis, let's see. <laughs> all right, um, getting to know each other. And, um, and it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, children. Past life relationship. I just got this for Sagittarius. Um, and this is well for Sagittarius. New love. And true love on the bottom. Yes. I love it. Also, um, I got a channel donation. Let me look real fast. I should have had this pulled up already, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I got a um, channel donation from, um, y'all know I'm bad with names. Um, I think it's Iman Ada. Thank you for the channel donation. All right, I don't have this, the super thanks pulled up, but I'll check them next video. Okay. Um, y'all know I'm always grateful for anything, guys. It doesn't matter if it's a dollar, okay? You're going to get a shout out no matter what, okay? All right, y'all. So, um, let's see what's going on with y'all. Now, the energy is starting out pretty good, but it could be deceiving in the beginning. The magician could be a Gemini Virgo the Queen of Pentacles so you may have children with this person or this person wants children with you this person sees you as like a great a good mother the Queen of Pentacles can be like the, uh, the good mother um, this is the Queen like this one step below the uh, the Empress like the Queen is, is kind of like the Empress in a sense um, the world's on the bottom so yeah I'm getting a vibe of um, someone feels like you're everything that they're looking for um, Gemini's the two of swords and the page of cups similar to Sagittarius reading interesting I'm trying to remember if this two of swords came up under past life relationship for Sagittarius. I'm not sure, but that came out for Sagittarius and so did that. Um, Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, um, Geminis, I feel like you guys are... Hold on, I'm trying to grab this deck. I feel like you guys um, are undecided about something or someone is feeling undecided clearly <laughs> oh man Gemini's it makes me wonder if, if there's more than one person here involved it doesn't have to be um it could just simply be that you're not sure if you want to go down this road with this person um 
but I'm seeing a new romance. The Page of Cups is literally a new romance under new love. Y'all have a new person here, okay? But there's something that you're confused about. It could be between um, someone you have children with in a new situation. Oh, wow, guys. Could be a Leo. Wow. Geminis. Whoever this is, is everything you've been looking for in a person. Could be a Leo. I believe Leo got the same card combination, too, in their reading. Um, wow, guys. I feel like you are about to meet someone that's going to make you very, very happy. Uh, Gemini very happy you're gonna be really happy with this oh see I knew it the hanged man the five of swords the magician again on the bottom yeah there's another person here um like I said a past person and a new person Gemini's yep you have someone from your past that um, isn't quite sure how to go about this, you know, you moving on pretty much. I feel like too, they're, they're seeing you in a different light, Gemini. I feel like this person may not have thought that you were like wife material or mother material or whatever when they met you, but I feel like they've changed their perspective. I see, I'm seeing this a lot for you about a person that's changing how they view you um, and how they view your connection. Cause this person may have thought, you know, you was the hot girl summer. <laughs> and you may have been at that time, okay. Um, or hot boy summer, you know what I'm saying. City boys, all right. And um, they were wrong. This person was wrong about you, Gemini, and they're starting to see that. I was wrong about Gemini. Gemini is actually a great partner. Gemini is actually everybody, everything that I want. They may have even knew that when y'all when y'all were together, and they just refused to see it. They just refused to accept it because there's something about you, Gemini. I feel like um, it's something they're not used to. I'll tell y'all about me. Okay. I always attract men. Well, let me not say it always. Because sometimes when you say always, you create shit. Okay. A lot of times I attract men or romantic suitors that want to control me. Because off the bat, they get an energy from me that you can't control me. Period. And that's usually what I attract. And so sometimes they get the wrong idea because I like doing what I want to do. But that doesn't mean I like doing what I want to do with multiple people. I just don't need you controlling me. I don't need you telling me, you know, what I can and can't do, what I can and can't wear, um, and things like that. You know what I mean? And a lot of times it's after I stop talking to them. They're like, oh, they look back and then they remember all the stuff I did for them and all the times I was there for them and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But a lot of times you deal with people, they, especially when they're coming from a place of trauma, they only look at the negative qualities about a person and they, they focus on that. That one negative thing or that those two negative things about that person and they focus on that and they just, Disregard all the other shit about a person. Also, Gemini, be mindful if, if you're doing that to people, you know, especially new suitors. Um, look at look at a person in their entirety, not just the focusing on the shit that you don't like about a person. And I feel like this person did that to you, Gemini. Yeah. And now they're starting to see, okay, um, Gemini was actually everything I was looking for. I showed you guys the magician again on the bottom. 
the magician is like um, uh, the type of person, well, depending on the surrounding cards, because this can also be a manipulator. But the magician is usually um, having everything that they need. The, the magician always has everything that he needs. So I feel like this person feels like you have everything that they need in a partner. There's that Queen of Pentacles again. I told you. Ooh, I'm not going to take all these guys. Oh, the Tower. Man. There's that Eight of Cups again. Yeah, you walked away from someone. Or you're detaching from them. Five of Pentacles, they're worried about that shit. They're worried about you detaching from them. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the judgments on the bottom yeah um you do have someone a, a past person that wants to rekindle something but gemini i'm seeing a new person here a new uh romance for you could be an earth sign a virgo a leo a capricorn gemini virgo All right. So, um, yeah, Gemini, I, I feel like you being happy, you being single, um, this new person thinks highly of you. This new person feels like you, you're everything that they want. So it's like this person comes back around and, and you're, you might not be as interested in them or they're worried about that. They're worried about um, you not being as interested in them. It could also be too that this person might be concerned that you you're you feel better single than being with them. And for some of you, that's the case. I mean, the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I mean, it gets no better than this. Like legit, Gemini, it, let me move this because you can't see the spread. It gets no better than this. Lots of passion, lots of fire. Um, you're gonna be very, very attracted to this person. This could also be a friend turned lover as well, Gemini. The Knight of Swords, mm -hmm. the Six of Swords, yeah, Geminis. <laughs> First of all, I feel like, um, I'm trying to see if the Knight of Swords is a past person or a new person, um, but it is over this part. Either way it goes, Gemini, either energy, I feel like is, is going to be kind of moving kind of quick for you. Um, but if you feel like you need to slow things down a little bit, slow things down. Do what's, what's comfortable for you, Geminis, okay? But I'm seeing you healing, and you're moving away from something that isn't serving you. That's also with this Eight of Cups here. I'm kind of getting too with this with this uh you have ace of cups on the bottom y'all have a new person but i'm also getting to you have a past person that that is wanting to rekindle something and start new with you the six of swords over this uh five of swords i'm getting um this person wants to come out of conflict with you but they're, they don't know how to do it they're not sure how to do it But I feel like, Gemini, you're going in a different... You're going... Oh, my goodness. The Knight of Swords is facing this way. So I feel like you're going towards this. And, you know, this this past person wants you to come towards them. Hmm. 
for a lot of you just want something new like you you don't want to uh be be tied up with this person anymore very similar to Sagittarius's reading Oh, and Sagittarius comes out. Sha, the Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, um, Gemini. Yeah, some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. They're coming towards you. Don't even trip on that. I feel like you have a new person. If you if this hasn't already happened, you have a new person coming towards you and this past person coming towards you. With this Ace of Cups again on the bottom. I told you, Gemini. You got two totally different energies coming towards you. Both feel like you're you're everything that they want. Both see you in a good light. It's just one of them you've had conflict with before. And they want to come out of the conflict. The nine of cups. Oh my goodness. And the ten of pentacles on the bottom. Listen, Gemini, you're going to be happy regardless. You're going to get what you want regardless. I always say, see this for you guys. You're going to get what you want no matter what. However, you do have options. This two of swords could also be you, like I said at the beginning of the reading. That could also be you not knowing um, what you want to do. Do you want to go back to, because some of you have kids with this person. So you might, that might be another dilemma or you wanted to have kids with this person. Take it how it resonates. And if you have children with this person, it might be a little bit harder for you to abandon that situation altogether. Yeah. You got a, you got a fiery romance coming. I will say that. <laughs> And like I said, it's going to be a lot of passion. And again, for a lot of you, you guys could start off as friends. It could be a friends first type dynamic, um, which to me is usually the best connections. Because um, you'll be able to be friends with this person and lovers with whoever this new person is. Take it how it resonates. This could be the same person, guys. Okay, take it how it resonates with you. Okay. I'm seeing two energies here. It doesn't have to be, though. Let's get some hidden truth and I can uh, hop off. Mm. Okay. I left before you could leave me. Take Always take these how they resonate, okay? It's time for me to heal now, yeah. I wish I treated you better on the bottom of the deck. This person could have been going through a healing. I'm seeing, yeah, the Six of Swords, I did mention healing earlier. So this person um, could be going through some type of healing. Or they have, depending on, you, you're going to know your situation, Gemini. How long you've been separated. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, definitely, Geminis. I, I feel like whoever you saw, whoever this past person showed you, that's not who they really were. I wish I could share my good news with you on the bottom. That This isn't who they really were. They didn't show you who they were. And again, they had the wrong idea about you, Gemini. Get a couple more, Spirit. I wish I treated you better. We just saw that. I want you on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> All right, Gemini's. That's y'all's reading. If it resonated, hit that like, hit that subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.